I'm literally sweating. That could be a drill. Let's just say I have some regrets. Cute. everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel firstly i want to say hi to all of my new subscribers thank you so so much for joining me recently just wanted to say hi my name is alice hope and i do lots of videos about beauty fashion blogging tips etc etc so if you enjoy that kind of thing then make sure to click the subscribe button down below and join my youtube family so you might notice i'm in a slightly different seating arrangement to usual i brought you down to the floor for this video because we're doing a very exciting and very fun video which i'm not gonna lie I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out but we're gonna see so for today's video i am going to be wrapping my christmas presents yeah, okay, not that exciting, but we're not just gonna be wrapping them like any old year, any old normal wrapping situation. No, this time I am following the TikTok trend where you wrap presents so that they resemble something that is not even remotely close to what they are. So to give an example, you might wrap a t-shirt so that it looks like a table, or you might wrap some shoes so that it looks like a banana. I mean, I'm really not sure how you would do that, but you get the general idea we're going to be wrapping some presents 2020 style guys this year has been extremely unexpected so why not continue that theme at christmas time and give some presents out and people are going to be very very confused when they see what i've wrapped for them um, but that just adds to the fun i have instructed my family not to watch this video uh, because i am obviously going to be showing their presents on camera so i'm trusting you guys to not spill the beans and uh yeah, just just don't ruin Christmas for me. I mean, Boris has, you know, done a pretty good job anyway. So let's let's just not make it even worse. I'm trusting you with this information. So I have with me, obviously, some wrapping paper. I also have some bubble wrap. Not really sure what I'm going to use it for, but it might help. And then I have some random toilet tubes because I feel like I'll need that for shaping. So yeah, honestly, I have no idea how this is going to go. I'm not going to lie, I'm not the best at wrapping presents at the best of times. We're just going to have to see what happens. <laughs> just to remind you before we get into this video, you can also find me over on Instagram at Alice Hope M. So if you're into fashion inspiration, beauty, anything like that, and you want to see all of my YouTube updates, then make sure to follow me on there and we can have some fun together. Okay, so first present we're going to be wrapping is the present to my brother from myself and my sister. So I'm trying to keep a little bit quiet because he's in the next room. But anyway, we got him some aftershave. It is the Bleu de Chanel fragrance. Um, I absolutely love this fragrance, by the way. If you're looking for a fragrance for a boy, oh my God, this one's insane. I remember I bought it for my boyfriend ages ago and literally couldn't stop like smelling him every time we wore it because it's just so nice. Um, so yeah, stunning, stunning, but obviously we're not going to give it to him like this. So I saw one on TikTok, which I think I'm going to try and recreate. Someone um, made it look like a drill, you know, like a DIY drill. So I was thinking with this one, I could do that because I can make this like the base, right? Hear me out, hear me out. Base and then like, you know, drill, drill part and then... I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do the top bit, but maybe you can see where I'm going with this, huh? So I'm gonna start by wrapping this up, and then we'll go from there. See, this is actually really easy to wrap, so um, I love that I'm making it so hard for myself. Okay, so you know you love it when the scissors like glide along the wrapping paper? Yep, I don't really get that because um, I'm left-handed and that just never works for me, so... Uh, that was really unsatisfying. Okay, bottom part is complete. So for the handle bit, I think I'm gonna like shove these two tubes together and then try and wrap it and then stick it down. You know, like that. I like where this is going. It's, it's, I've got faith. Stage two, complete. I mean, okay, it's not the most secure thing in the world. Might secure it a little bit more, but can you can you see? Drill, can you see where this is going, right? This is what we're going for. 
So I think I might need to get another tube involved. I've only got one left, so could I like, maybe I'll pad this out a little bit. I could use this. Oh gosh. Okay, yeah, I should have cut that with scissors. Um, because that's what I've got. Anyway, um, right, I was thinking, if I pad out the end, right? Like that. I make this like smaller. That could be a drill. Okay, guys, update. <laughs> Are you ready? Ta da! I didn't, I didn't bother filming some of it because honestly, it actually took me so long to do like tiny bits on it. But I used a little bit of cardboard to do the like, you know, the lever. I think it's quite good. I'm not gonna lie, about halfway through, I was like, mm, this is not, this is not it. And I thought like, oh my God, I have to scrap this. But I think it's all right. I'm gonna finish it off with a bow. Pretty little bow because you know that's what you want on a present i'm not sure where to put it though okay it literally nearly took me longer to peel that label off than it did to make this entire thing but there we have it <laughs> i'm laughing because this is just so stupid like this is just such a stupid idea but i just i absolutely love it this is my pneumatic drill not pneumatic drill, just my drill. Ta -da! And you would not know that this is actually aftershave, would you? Number one complete. Right, next present that I'm going to try and disguise is my sister's. So to show you what I've got, we've got this lovely neutral toned sweater vest. This one is actually from I Saw It First. And we also got a white shirt, like a nice, like a nice but a basic white shirt to go underneath it um because she really likes that style so i'm thinking these are like squishy so i'm thinking i could do like a teddy bear i've seen people do teddy bears um it might stretch me artistically i'm not gonna lie to you guys but hey you know we love a challenge on this channel and we're just gonna see if i can do it without crying or tearing my hair out i'm gonna start i think what i'm gonna do is do like one as the head and one as the body and then just attach the legs after so i start by rolling it up see also i don't want to crease it like loads i don't want to like give it to her and it be an absolute scruffy ball although it doesn't look like a circle right now with the wonders of wrapping paper, you know, who knows what we can do. So I'm gonna start off, and this is gonna be the head of my bear. Okay, so <laughs> it's not quite the shape I want it to be. Uh, let's see if we can fix it. <laughs> So I had to redo the head because the head was literally the same size as the body. But now we have a slightly better body head. Kind of see where I'm going with this. I mean, once we've got ears on, I think we'll be loving it. We'll be laughing, guys. So I think I'm gonna use bubble wrap to do the ears just because, a bit of padding. So I'm running out of sellotape, so I really hope we have some more because if not, this video is gonna be cut short. Okay, I can't lie guys, uh, this one is testing me quite a lot. Um, I've managed to sort of get like a head and a body. I kind of, I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna be Britain's next best sculptor, but hey, that's fine. Um, I've also had to transform my bed into the sellotape holder because um, 
let me tell you there is nothing and i mean literally nothing more infuriating than sellotape like sticking together and then or every time you're cutting a bit of sellotape it has it sticks back to the thing like oh my god that drives me insane right i'm gonna try and make the arms now and for that i figure i'm just gonna like scrunch you can't really go wrong right Okay, um, I admit that this one was a little bit of a fail, but hey, like, look at it from a distance. From a distance, that is a teddy bear, right? It's just when you get up close that it looks a bit terrifying. This one, yeah, this, this one tested me. Um, I was finding it quite hard not to get very frustrated, but look, we kind of got there in the end. Like, if you sit that down, I mean, it's a bit, you know, off balance. But if you sit that down and lean it against something, cute. Right, I think I'm gonna do something easier for the final one because that one was um, very hard. So my room has steadily become an absolute bombsite, but that's fine. I mean, that's, that's what wrapping is all about, right? So one of my mum's presents is one of these body shop gift sets we got her the sheer butter one and this is really good because we've actually her main present is something else from the body shop and um we spent over a certain amount so it meant that we got this for free and i think that's so good because it has um i'm not sure what it's got in it because it doesn't say but it has like a scrunchy washer thing um a moisturizer a body butter i know that's the same thing shower gel so like anyway it has like four or five things in here so it's so good that we got that for free and it's such pretty packaging if you follow me over on instagram then you will know that i'm actually a body shop ambassador so i absolutely adore their products so yeah so for this one i was thinking because my mum is such a tea lover that i will try and make this into a teapot because it's kind of like the right size not really the right shape but if we get a bit of bubble wrap around it I'm sure it'll be fine so yeah i'm gonna start off with the bubble wrap and see what we can do <sighs> i'm literally sweating having presents makes me very hot and very frustrated in fact i'm not really sure why i decided to do this video because it's not my favourite activity. <sighs> the worst thing is having to cut so much sellotape. Like, I have to cut 20 bits every like, three seconds. I'm not gonna lie guys, this is a two man job and I've decided to do it one man and let's just say I have some regrets. I just had to stretch my legs there. I'm gonna use some of the packaging that it came in to make the little handle. Uh, it's not looking great so far, I can't lie to you. Um, I think this one could be the worst, but we're not sure, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> agree that the teapot was a complete fail what can i say my skills are just not just not up to it all i will say is that it's a modern avant-garde piece 
and you know only true artists can really appreciate it i tried what can i say but you know i think the other two turned out all right i mean the teddy bear is quite cute i think but I think the winner in terms of gifts that actually like kind of resemble what I'm trying to wrap them as has got to be the drill. I mean, come on, that does actually look like a drill, apart from the fact that it weighs literally nothing. I'm pretty pleased with it. I think if you saw that under the tree, you'd think, why has she got me a drill? Okay, I now feel like I never want to wrap a present ever again because that was so much effort thank you so so much for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed it and it was something a little bit fun um or if anything you know just enjoyed laughing at me and watching me struggle if you did enjoy it then pretty please click the thumbs up button that really helps me out and if you are a new watcher and would like to stick around and join my youtube family then don't forget to click the subscribe button down below as i said before you can also find me over on instagram at alice hope m so go over there for all your fashion inspo and updates about my youtube channel thank you so so much for watching i hope you have an amazing christmas and i hope that your presents are wrapped a hell of a lot better than mine because yeah i love you lots and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye